Oh yeah, <clears throat> look at my thrift store find for the day. The Panasonic SAPM12. It is a 90 watt system. Can you focus? I guess not. 450 watt times two with the whatever you want to call that crap. CD-ROM ROM and rewritable playback, so kind of know the era of when this was made. Um, yeah, I, it's in demo mode. I have not yet turned it on, so this will be interesting. I want to see how well this sounds. Here is what the speakers look like. I'll keep these off for the demonstration. It's a two-way speaker. <laughs> I'm used to seeing three-way speakers. <coughs> anyway, let's begin. So these look transparent, but I guess they don't light up. Much okay, I wasn't expecting it to. So Yeah, pretty sensitive. Okay. <clears throat> it's on CD mode, so let's uh see how if everything works out like it's supposed to. First of all, where's disc one two oh it's right below the screen. Okay. Oh, well, in it goes. What slot are we on, anyway? Five, okay. Good, it reads. Where's stop, so I don't have to worry about copyright, okay. Nice, that actually sounds really good. I'm gonna fast forward. <laughs> This sounds really good. I pause for a minute here. Sound equalizer, heavy, clear, soft, disco, live. Okay. Heavy is the rock. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that even sounds better. Let me go back to, uh, was it two? Oh man, that sounds good. Okay, now I'm gonna try this cassette. Oh, it opens, which means the belts are intact because it utilizes the belt system to open this damn thing. Let's see, ooh yeah, it's a bit dirty. I'll have to clean that. Fucking phone, okay, yeah. Oh, the pinch rollers are like, almost like a rock, so they've aged. I have my Panasonic SA AK47 has that same issue, but tapes still play, so I'm not worried about it. Uh, I need to get a Q-tip. Well, you know what? That actually is just a light, it's not even like gunked in there. I'm just going to do a light with my finger. Probably shouldn't, but I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah, okay. I'm going to pop tape in and see how well it sounds. Um, tape, tape, tape. Here we go. Uh, here we go. It went, it went in reverse. Probably because the forward spool isn't spinning. That's why it's kicking backwards. I can hold it. There should be a sensor somewhere. There it is. I gotta see if that spindle right there is playing. No, it's not. Well, maybe because I don't have a tape in there. 
Huh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. I can hear it going. Uh, 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 uh. Let's see if it fast forwards. Okay. Hold on. You know what? No, actually, since it doesn't want to play forward at the moment, I need to fast forward this tape. Actually, it has a little, you can see it in the window, so I guess I could actually do it this way. Okay, yeah, it is getting stuck. But it works fine that way. Uh-huh. Interesting. And it's not like the pinch roller keeps pulling the tape through. So that's going to be a belt problem. It's trying. Oh, uh, plays just fine in reverse. Damn. <laughs> uh, but when it was playing the in the the normal, um, the right direction, it only came out of one speaker. In reverse direction, it actually comes out of both. So yeah, I have a little bit of work to do on this thing. But for the most part, oh, it plays CDs and boy, does it sound good. And it does have an aux. Selector, there's the radio, there's the aux. So, let's see here. I don't have an antenna on this thing. So, the only one I can really check out without an antenna is 97.5, which it skipped, so. Hmm. Where's the antenna? Oh, down there. I can use myself as an antenna, but. I can't do that for long because of the music. He left his fortune to. Okay, man, oh man, does that freaking sound good. So, a little work to do on this, but you know what? I like it. Gotta clean that out. Ugh. Wow, yeah. Cool. Well, gotta have some fun with this. Panasonic SAPM12. Alright, later.